What is going on guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to professionally use context managers in Python, which allow us to easily allocate and free resources the way we want to. So let us get right into it. All right, so when working with resources in Python, we oftentimes have repetitive setup processes and closing processes, initializing something, opening up something, allocating a resource, closing something, releasing something, freeing up a resource. All these things can be automated using context managers. So context managers make it easier for us to allocate and free resources the way we want to. And one example for that that you probably already know is working with files. So what we can do in Python is we can say file equals open we can provide a file name, file.txt, and we can provide a mode, so the writing mode in this case, and then we have this file object here. So this file object is now an open file stream and we can use it to write something into the file. We can say file.write hello world, and then the proper way to end this is to say file.close to close the file stream again. That is how you do it. Now the problem is, let's say you have more between the open and the close statement, something might occur, you might have an exception and then the file stream is not going to be closed. So what you would want to do is you would want to do something like try and no matter what happens, finally close the stream. All this here can be rewritten using a with statement. And you probably know that already, this is not necessarily the topic of this video, uh, the with statement, but with a with statement, we can go ahead and just say with open file.txt in writing mode, s file, file write hello world. And you can see that there's no close statement here. I don't say file.close anywhere, but no matter if there is an exception, if there is no exception, once we leave the with block, the file stream will be closed. So I think we can even check that by printing file.closed. I'm not sure, but I think we should be able to see that. There you go, you can see this is true. Whereas if I do it uh, without a with statement, so if I just open the file, if I say this is file equals that, then this is not gonna be closed, so you can see false. So this is a very basic example of a context manager, and in today's video, we're going to learn how to implement custom context managers. So we're going to create our own custom, uh, custom um, context managers for different things. We're going to start by uh, basically doing the same thing that we now saw. We're going to implement our own file stream context manager and then we're going to do something with sockets and with database connections as well. So we're going to start here by saying now class file stream and this class will have a simple init method, so a constructor which takes path and mode as an argument and in here we're just going to say self.path is going to be equal to path and self.mode is going to be equal to mode. Um, and then we need to implement two magic methods called enter and exit. And as the names already suggest, those are for entering a context and exiting a context. So the enter method will be triggered when we enter the with block and the exit method will be triggered when we uh, go out of the with block. So we're going to say def underscore underscore enter underscore underscore. And here we're going to now say self dot file stream will be equal to opening up a file stream uh, with path and moat. And then we're going, this is important, oh, actually self dot path, self dot mode. And this is now important we need to return that file stream or something that we want to work with because we have a with statement that has a structure with whatever, s and then variable name. So this variable name here, what the, the value of this variable here will be whatever is returned by the enter function, by the enter method. So I have to return here self.filestream in order to be able to use the file stream in the with block. And then I'm going to say def exit with these default, um, not default, but with these parameters, we need to have these parameters here in the exit method. So uh, the type, the value, and uh, I don't know what TB stands for. We're not gonna really use them, but they need to be in the signature. And here we're just going to do whatever we want to do once we leave the with block, uh, including exceptions. So we're gonna say in this case, self.filestream.close. And now what we can do with that class is, we can do the same thing that we did with the open function. We can say with, file stream and then file.txt in writing mode sf 
f dot write other text so that we see that it's not hello world anymore. If I run this now, you can see I have here other text. And we can also go ahead and say print uh, f dot closed. And you can see it's true. So f is closed, even though it was opened here in the enter method. So that's a very basic example of how to implement a custom context manager. But this is not necessarily how you should be doing it. This is one way to do it. Uh, but there's actually a better way to do it. Um, I mean, better, probably a more best practice way, closer to best practice way to do it, which is by importing from context lib, which is core Python. So from context lib, we're going to import the context manager. And then we can basically do the same thing that we implemented here uh, as a function. So we can say here def file stream path mode. And here we're going to say now f is equal to open path and mode. And then we're going to use a keyword that you may know if you watched my advanced Python series, the yield keyword, this is always uh, related to generators, this yields a result. Um, if you don't know anything about yield and generators, I recommend you watch my advanced Python tutorial series. Uh, otherwise, you can just accept that we have to write it here. Um, and the basic idea is that whatever comes before that yield statement, and here what we're going to yield is uh, the, the file stream itself, whatever comes before that yield statement is what we want to put in the enter method here. And whatever comes after the yield statement is what we had in the exit method. And the yield statement itself returns whatever we returned in the enter method. So here we're going to just say f dot close. And the only thing that we need to add now is we need to add the annotation at context manager. And this will then uh, have the same functionality. So this little uh, block of five code lines has the same functionality as this class. So we can remove that class. We can remove all of this here. And we can now go ahead and say, with file stream, um, file dot txt in writing mode, sf, or let's say as file, file dot write, again, another text, and then we can print file closed. So first of all, we can see file is closed. And when we go into the file, you can see again, another text. So this works. And this is basically the same thing as writing uh, your own class, everything you put in the enter method will be above the yield statement, the yield statement itself will be equivalent to the return statement of the class that we wrote before. And uh, this close method is whatever was in the exit method. So uh, everything after the yield keyword is what, what we had in the exit method, everything before is what we had in the enter method. Now let us move on and implement a custom context manager for working with sockets in particular for working with server sockets, because here the procedure is oftentimes uh, the same. So we have something like import socket, and then we create a server socket by saying server equals socket dot socket socket dot AFI net to create an internet socket socket dot sock stream to make it a TCP socket. And then we do server dot bind we bind it to an IP address like localhost, and then uh, a port number, like four times nine, and then we do server dot listen, we then do some work like accepting and handling connections. And in the end, we do server dot close uh, to close the server socket. This can be put into a context manager so that we don't have to do everything manually. And this is what we're going to do now. So we're going to start with the first way that we learned, we're going to create a class, and then we're going to use the context manager annotation. So we're going to say class server socket, we'll have an init method, which will take host and port as parameters. And we're going to say self dot host equals host and self dot port equals port. And then we're going to define an enter method which will do the following, it will say self dot server is equal to socket socket, socket AF net socket sock stream, self server dot bind to self dot host, self dot port, then self dot server dot listen, we're going to then of course, return self dot server, and once we're done in the exit method, we want to just say self dot server dot close. 
Um, here I have port, not post. And basically, what's that? Oh, okay. So that is now our context manager. And we can do the same thing as with the file stream. We can say with open, um, uh, not with open, sorry, with server socket, we can pass now localhost 9999 and then s server. And then we can say whatever we want to do, like server dot accept, and then handle connections, whatever we want to do, we can put it in here uh, in the with statement in the with block, because no matter what happens at the end, we're going to have uh, the server being closed <clears throat> by uh, by the context manager. And while it's open, we can work in here without having to do the binding and the listening manually. This is just one thing that we can do here with context managers as well. And another way to do exactly that again is to say, from context lib import context manager, and we can then say, uh, again, at context manager, def server socket host port s equals socket dot socket socket afi net socket sock stream, uh, then s dot bind host port s dot listen. And now remember, we use the yield keyword to yield s and then s dot close in the end. So this is a very compact version. Uh, of that. And we can do the same thing with this one, we can say with server socket, and then localhost 9999 s server, server dot accept, and whatever you want to do. So you can say client address equals server dot accept, and then you can pass the client to some uh, function that you want to run in a separate thread. But this is how you can also implement a context manager for working with service sockets. And now last but not least, I want to show you how we can implement a custom context manager for database connections as well. And for that, we're going to work with the SQLite three database. So we're going to say import SQLite three. And from context lip, again, import context manager, we're going to do it with the annotation right away. So we're going to skip the class definition. Uh, and what we want to automate here is the process of connecting and getting the cursor, we only want to focus on executing statements. And then once we leave the with block, we want to commit and close the connection. So what we're going to do is we're going to say at context manager, def db underscore connection. And we're going to say that we're going to pass the path to the database here. And what we want to do is we want to say the connection is equal to uh, SQLite three connect to the path. And then we want to say cursor equals connection dot cursor. And we want to yield the cursor as a result here. So this is what we're going to get with the with statement. And afterwards, we want to just say connection dot commit connection dot close. So that is the full context manager. And using that context manager, we can now do stuff like with db connection and my db dot db will be the file here, sc. So s cursor, this is the cursor, not the connection. Um, we're going to say here c dot execute, um, we can do stuff like create table. Uh, if not exists, person, we can do something like uh, name var chart 255. And then h integer or something. Um, and basically, this will now open the connection, give us a cursor, execute the statement. And once we leave it, it will also commit and close. So if I run this right now, we will have a database here, I can open it. Um, this is from another tutorial. So let's see if that actually works. Select star from person. Let's run this. Um, and you can see we have name and age here. So the, the table was created successfully. And it was done with the context manager. So this is also one thing that you can do here. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.